All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own node that uses parameters by creating your own package. I will show you how you can change the parameters from the terminal and also from a launch file. If you're new to my channel, I teach OpenCV, Computer Vision, Python, C++, Git, ROS2, SOLIDWORKS, Mechanical Design, and I have a GitHub that goes along with it. So subscribe to learn more. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we want to create our package. We're going to cd into source. After we get in there, we're going to run our ROS2 package create uh, build type amend. I'm going to call this package pi parameters, and then the dependencies will be the rclpy. So once I run that, you're going to see we have, we have our package created here called pi parameters. So we're going to create our node by moving our pi parameters node pi file inside of here. So we're going to go ahead and come here and copy this uh, node file. So I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste it in here. So this is our pi parameters node. So if we take a look at this um, file here, it's pretty simple. We have, we're calling this class minimal param and then it's inherited from the rclpy node, which is why we use that as a dependencies. But here we're gonna uh, call the constructor. It's gonna be called the minimal param node. And then we're gonna declare the parameters called my parameter and be, by default it's gonna be world. We're gonna set the timer by creating a timer here. And this will be our frequency that we're gonna be outputting. So for our timer callback, the behavior of that is it's gonna we're going to try to fetch what the parameter is. And if there is, it's going to update my parameter. If there is no new parameter, it's going to output the original world parameter. So here we have my new parameter, this part. This is what I was saying. If there's a new parameter, it's going to set it. And then it's going to, when it goes, that's called, it's going to output that new parameter. So inside of the main function, we have the general structure, you call the init, and then you create your node, and then you put the node inside the spin. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on to the next step. So after we do that, here's some reference, if you need some reference on classes, inheritance, and if name is main, I have some videos up there. Uh, but for the next step, we want to go ahead and update our setup.py. So if we take a look at our setup.py here, this is our changes. So we have some changes that we use for launch and then some that we didn't. So we're just going to update the changes that we have for our first example. So we're going to go to our setup.py here, um, add our changes here. So this part is for the launch, so I'm going to comment out. This part is also for the launch going to comment out. So this is the only part that we're adding inside our entry point. We have a minimal param node equals pi parameters dot pi parameters node main. Okay, so this will set up everything for us. And then after do after we do that, we could go ahead and build with Colkin. We need to first go back to our workspace and then we could run the Colkin build packages select pi parameters. So this will go ahead and build our package. So now that our package is done, we could go ahead and test our parameters in the terminal. So we are already in the ROS2 workspace. We're going to source it. So source install uh, setup.bash. So this will allow us to call our commands. So ROS2 uh, run pi parameters, and then it's going to be the minimal param node. So you can see it's saying hello world. So now we want to go into our other terminal and source install setup.bash. And then we could take a look at the parameters list by doing ROS2 param list. And this will show us the list of parameters that we have. So you see we have my parameters showing. So we could do ROS2 param set and then our minimal param node. And then our parameter called my parameter, and we're gonna call this earth. So when I hit enter, you're gonna see one of these worlds change to earth. So if I hit enter, you see here this instance got changed to earth as we expected. 
Okay, so next up, we're gonna change it with the launch file. So we already created the launch file for us. We're just gonna go ahead and move the launch file into our launch folder that we will create as well. So here we're gonna copy this over and we're gonna go ahead and create a folder called launch here. So call this launch and then we pasted it, pi parameters launch. So what this does is similar to the C++ version that we have. Um, so what it has is it's going to return a launch description. And inside of launch description, we have a node, which is a launch for us action. So here we define the package, executable, name, output, and then the parameters here, which we're using Earth as our parameter. Okay, so then we have to just change our setup. So we commented this out earlier. This is uh, going to add this in here and then uncomment this out. So this will just look for any of our launch files that's present inside our package. Okay, so after we do that, we should be able to uh, just go ahead and build it. So we're going to run our command again, colcon build packages select pi parameters. So this built our package. And then we're going to go ahead and source it. So after we source it, we should be able to run our uh, launch file. So ROS, ROS2 launch. And then it's going to be called pi param. And then pi parameters launch pi. So you can see my first instance here is Earth. And then all of the other instances is world as we expect. Okay, so in my next video, I'm going to go over the Ross Doctor. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.